we will see in this class how to work with the reference files feature, which makes the development of the project more practical and intuitive. Let's get started. Reference files are external files that can be inserted into projects, and that maintains reference with the original file. This way, whenever the original file is modified, this update is replicated to the file in which it was inserted as a reference. This is very useful for creating base files, or when we have a team working on several parts of the same project. Because the final project will always remain up to date with all the changes made by the team. Let's create a new file to learn how to insert and manage the reference files in a project. We access the Insert tab and, in the Reference panel, click on Attach. A box opens, where we select the file that will be inserted into the project, which is available in the files of this class. See that a new window opens, where we have a preview of the file to be inserted and some options. In path type we define how the project will search for the reference file that was inserted. By opting for full path, the full path of the reference file will be set, considering folders and disk drives. Choosing relative path, two levels of folders below the root folder will be considered. For example, in our image are considered render folders, AutoCAD 2018-2D Basics and Lessons, which is the root folder. By opting for no path, no search base for the reference file will be set, letting the program choose the best way to search. This latter option slows the opening of files. In this window we can also define the insertion point, the scale factor and the rotation of the object to be inserted. We keep all options as they are and confirm the box. Now we click on the graphic area to pin the reference file. See that when you select the image we have just inserted, a new tab opens, called Image. In it we can adjust the brightness, contrast and fade of the image, create a crop margin of the image, remove the cut margin created. Display the image in the project, set transparency to the background and open the external references palette. In this palette we find a list of the existing files in the project, the information of the files and their paths, and the options to insert new reference files and update them when their originals are changed. Whenever there is a change in the original file, a message will be displayed in the status bar, so that the file is updated. See. And so we concluded our lesson, where we learned how to insert and manage reference files in the project, updating them when the original files are modified.